Hey guys, welcome back to Bowers Fan TV. Today we're doing a match reaction to last night's 2 0 win away at Galway. Really good win, good performance. Um, probably the best we played all season. Um, in, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and yeah, look, it was it was a good win. Um, in, in a difficult game, you know, we we, we knew going into it, Galway they're a, they're a difficult side to play against. So they're in DC Park, they play a style of football that it's it's. You know, it's, it's tough to play against and and look we 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 went there and we 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 started the game really well we we started with a good tempo um we were getting forward creating chances putting balls in the box we won a good few corners in the first sort of twenty minutes fifteen twenty minutes around around that uh, time and and yeah look we were looking at the much more threatening team and and um yeah we kept we kept we kept at it and then eventually we we got we got the goal got our first goal um free kick into the box really good decent delivery um and, and a really really good header by Jevin Mills in the far corner uh you know Brendan Clark good goalkeeper had no chance and and look yeah we were one nil up and we I think we, we definitely deserved it um you know, re, you know we started the game really well good good attacking intent we were getting forward he was in our pace Connolly really were causing problems Clark you know driving through the middle of the park and and yeah look I was really pleased with how we played in the first half and and you know obviously there was that worry that you know we, we don't want to repeat the Rovers game where you know we, we play really well uh, first half and then come in second half and and, and fall apart but we, we definitely didn't fall apart we, we kept at it um you know midfield really solid defense very good um didn't let Galway through well you know Galway had very few chances from open play I, I was surprised by how poor they were to be honest which is I think the only real threat the offered was from from, uh, from corners and set and, and set pieces or corners and you know throw ins and and all that you know you know every time they got a throw in they, they went along with it and uh, obviously you know it works for them I suppose you know that's the way you call field has them drilled you know they, they, that's where they, they get the most, their most joy from really and and, and they tried but it didn't work that that, that was the only threat they really offered you know from corners and throw ins and and yeah look we, we kept we we kept them out they didn't really create many chances um. Obviously, the uh, we'll get on to that, but before before that, we we obviously went two 0 up. Uh, there around his corner, uh, you know, into the box. I can turn there. Doesn't really have to do much. You know, doesn't really have to jump for it. He just you know nods it in, and we're two 0 up. And you're thinking, you know, great. I think this is what you know. This is what we've deserved. We've been the much better side. Um, showing a lot of uh, really good attack and attend. Um, good quality going forward. You know. Not let not you know giving away anything you know we 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 were well just you know well deserved to go to go two nil up and and yeah look good it was a good header from McIntyre um like I said he didn't really do a whole lot did he he didn't really have to jump for it it's, it just sort you just sort of had to nod it in and it was poor marking from Galway let's be honest but look we we, we, that, we won't mind that look you know we'll, we'll we'll take the goal and yeah we you know it was, it was hard to see a way back from from Galway after that um. Not not long after as well. Obviously, they obviously had that chance that you know it was really really good off the line clearance from Jeff Mills. You know, was it was from a free kick. Um, ball goes in and so it just bounces in their favour, doesn't it? And then you know, I don't know who gets ahead on it, but it, it goes it goes past Haraska and it looks like it's gonna go in. But Mills is there, giving his long legs to get back and then clear it off the line, and then that was a really really good clearance, really crucial clearance. Um. And yeah, look, I thought Jeff Mills was absolutely excellent. He was one of the best players on the pitch. You know, really great header for the goal. Really solid all night. He's been a very good, you know, addition to the team since he's come in on loan. Um, a few other stand outs, Dale Rooney, I thought was brilliant. He got man of the match. And I, I, I think, you know, I think that's pretty much deserved. I think, you know, obviously he got the two assists, but all night he was causing uh, Galway problems down that right hand side, you know, taking on, you know, the, the defenders, um, showing really good pace. Um, you know, a much better performance from him than what we saw on Friday. Same with Conley, both of them really ran their socks off. Um, you know, every time they got the ball, he looked to go forward and, and take on players, and that, that's what we want to see from him. Um, you know, uh, Matheson as well at right back had a really good game. Um, you know, you can see the difference between him and, and, and Lalander. You know, we, Madison, you know, he has that bit of pace. He can get forward. He's a good defender as well. You know, he has that bit of experience. Even though he's still a young player, you know, he's, he's played in England with, with various clubs. And, and yeah, look, I, th I thought he had a really impressive debut. And I, th I think, you know, it's, it's hard to see a way back into the team for Lalanda after that performance from Madison. But we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, um, overall, look, it was, it was probably the best we played all season. Um, 
you know, if you look at some of the other games we've won this season, you know, Pats away and at Derry, you know, they were Pats was kind of a you know a backs against the walls performance. You know, it was quite a, a tight game, not a whole lot in it. We obviously got that bit of luck with the pen at the end, but you know, we we kind of had to hang on a little bit against Pats. Um, the Derry game was sort of you know we we get two goals that were kind of sort of given to us in a way, um, and you know. You know, it was a good performance. You know, we we didn't probably show enough goal, you know, show enough, you know, and as of an attacking threat in that game, like we did last night. But you know, last night we were we we, we were on it from from the from the off. We we came out the traps and 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 you know, within the first you know fifteen twenty minutes, you could see that we wanted it more than Galway. We were going forward. We were we were trying to create, and and look, you know, we we paid off. We won the game, and and, and look. You know, we're only two, we're up to six now. Um, early two, I don't know, probably um, however many points off off second. Um, and and look, that's a really good goal. And obviously, in a in a in a in, you know, after such a, a poor start, you know, and and all the negativity, you know, we were only a few points off second. You know, if we if we go on win, if we go and win on Friday, and then obviously we got the game in hand coming up against Dundalk. You know, we could be as high as second, I think, and that, that that's mad. You know, it's it's a it's a crazy league this year. Um, you know, anybody anybody can be anyone on that day. We know that, but yeah, look, um, you know, obviously great for us. Get, uh, for for Alan Reynolds to get his first win as well in 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 a difficult game up in Galway. Um, you know, we, we a lot of people had a few doubts going into the game about you know after the Rovers game, especially how we get on. You know, Galway a, a difficult team to beat at Eamon DC Park, but look, we went up there and played really really well and and and, and deservedly. Got, you know, got the two nil win. You know, we we played them off the park at times. I thought, especially in the first half, um. We, we had opportunities, you know. I think we had a, I think it was, it might have been Mills or someone else. I'm not sure who it was now. We had a, a header from a corner. I think Clark just sort of tipped onto the post. Um, Connolly had a good chance as well. I remember he, he, he uh, Brandon Clark pulled off a decent save. So in that first half, we could have been two or three and look going into half time. And, and you know, that that's something that we didn't, we haven't probably seen enough of in the first, you know, opening games where we were actually going forward and creating chances. You know, you could see in the first half against Rovers that we played with a with a good plan. Um, you know, we were we were going to try and sit back and and you know not play for a draw perhaps, but you know, in 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 the game last night we were we were going forward and trying to create chances to score goals, and that that was good to see. Um. And I think you know, I think it, it makes a massive difference when you have someone like Luke Mattis and that right back, and and I think they have really on the right hand side played really well too. You know that worked that worked very well, um, and I think that that that's something that we should be looking at going forward. You know him and Conley on the wings, you know working hard, running, getting balls into the box, chipping in with goals. That's what you want to see from them, and it's probably something we haven't seen enough of from them in in the first uh, few games of the season. But hopefully now that Reynolds is in the door, he'll he'll sort that out and get that from them. Um, but yeah, look. Overall, really good win, good performance. Probably the best we've seen from them this season so far. Um, another another game on Friday, obviously home to Waterford. Keith Long returning to Daily Mount. We can follow that up with another win. We'll be flying then. Um, you know, all, all of a sudden things won't be looking things won't be looking as bad. Um, and yeah, look, if 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 it was to give a man of the match, probably it's probably a, it's probably a, a a close sort of toy between Dale Rooney and Jeff Mills. I can't really decide. You know, I thought they were both outstanding. Mills in particular has been brilliant since he's come in. Um, you know, even though he's a young player, he he already looks like a pro. You know, see, you know, experienced player. Um, really good defender, very solid, great header too from the goal. Um, Rooney, Rooney was brilliant. So was Conley. Uh, midfield very good. Uh, Shiraz had a good game in goal as well. He wasn't afraid to come out and, and punch away those sort of long balls and corners into the box from from Galway that were, you know, trying to threaten us, I suppose. But yeah, look, um, great win. You know, really solid performance on the road. What we wanted to see, much better um, than what we see in, in, in the Rovers game. Good going forward, good at the back, nothing to really complain about. So, yeah, look, let's let's follow that up with another win on Friday and then we'll be flying. So, yeah, that's where we're going to end it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below your thought about the game. Who, who stood out for you? Who was your man of the match? And I'll see you for the preview for the Waterford game on Thursday. Bye-bye.